Hello and welcome to my uh, video on uh, replacing the breech seal on this uh, vintage Webley Senior air pistol. Uh, these were made from 1939 through until 1964. Um, but regardless of what year you've got, um, there's no difference in the breech seal. Uh, this will also apply to a lot of these other Webley air pistols that have this same basic design. The vintage ones, there's the Mark 1 and 2 and I think and the, the Junior and this is the Senior. Uh, but there are ones that were made post 64. They may not use exactly the same breech seal but I think the actual general method is probably pretty much the same. So that may help. Um, uh, I'm, this is an add-on actually to another video I'm doing on this pistol on sorting out the cocking mechanism so you might want to watch that. Uh, if you're interested, but I thought I'd do the breech seal as a standalone video because it is something that when you buy an old air gun, um, spring air gun, uh, whether it be a rifle or a pistol, you're generally going to have to replace the breech seal because it's usually kind of old and rotten or whatever. So, um, so I thought there's probably and and this and replacing the breech seal and this is a little bit tricky. So um, that's why I thought I'd uh, put a video up that may help some other. Uh, owners of these pistols. All right, so there's the breech seal in there. Um, as you can see, now I, I haven't, I've already replaced the breech seal, so I'm not gonna actually show you how to do it because I did it before and didn't actually film it. Um, but uh, but the principle will be the same, so you don't really need to watch me doing it. I'll explain everything that I did. But you will see that that breech seal is actually a leather one with a brass kind of insert. That's the traditional type of seal that was sold um, uh, well, it was installed in these pistols right from the very start when they were started in 1935 um, and the same seals go right through until 64. Uh, um, now I do notice on the, the websites that sell these air gun parts there is actually a rubber seal available for these guns as well. If you're just interested in shooting it and you're not really that into the history of it, I wouldn't be surprised if the rubber ones are, well they're probably silicon or something, are probably a bit more effective. So. Um, um, you could even try those as well, but um, but uh, the, the method of putting them in is obviously the same. They have to be sort of pressed or tapped into into place, and just because of the nature of the design of this pistol, um, that can be a little bit tricky. When I measured the the hole that it got, as you can see, it's in this kind of recess, but then it's actually in another even deeper recess down inside there that fits it. Now when I measured the diameter of that recess it was a bit over nine mils, millimetres um, and I got the breech seal from John Nibbs um, I think I can't remember I think it was like about I don't know eight pounds or something like that wasn't very much um, just like a little leather donut but when I measured the outside diameter of that it was about eleven and a half mils or something so much too big to go in so and it actually says on the website you know it must be fitted so when I looked on the website, I sort of, I did see some mention of people having trouble getting these in because, as you can imagine, you've got to be able to punch that in place. You want it tight so it's not kind of falling out, um, but you don't want to damage it. It's got that soft brass kind of thing on the inside. And I did see somewhere that someone bought one and then obviously used it as a punch, tried to punch it in and just ended up wrecking it. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you need to just carefully file the outside or sand, use some sort of reasonably semi-poor sandpaper. I used a little file. Um, file the outside of, of it just to reduce the diameter a bit. And also I, I tended to make it so it had a slight bevel to it. So as you pushed it in, uh, it wouldn't get caught. You can sort of see the little bits of leather around the edge that have been kind of caught um, as I've pushed it in. Um, but then I did see mention of a, uh, a tool available in the old days, I don't know if it's available now, but in the old days it was a special Webley tool, it was a breech seal tool. And so just looking at that I could kind of see that um, it, uh, it, you need to be able to support, you need to be able to tap it in and support that brass thing so it doesn't get knocked out of shape. But also support the side of the leather, so yeah, the leather and crack or whatever. Um, 
so which is sort of a bit tricky I, I couldn't find a picture of the tool but I kind of worked it out so I got onto my lathe and I got a bit of this is just 10 mil rod and I just machined um, a little thing on the end of it like that so that's exactly the right size just to slip inside the uh, the little brass bit as you can see it's kind of pretty much the same diameter now um, so what you have to do is um, is use this as a punch to punch it in in order to fit the breech seal uh, you really need to get the barrel out of the way so uh, the first thing we'll do is uh, I'll show you how to remove the barrel which is pretty simple All right, so as with any uh, gun work, make sure you've got yourself a screwdriver. Carefully find a bit that fits. Now, always start on the left-hand screw, as you'll see why. The left-hand screw actually screws into the right-hand screw. So, um, just undo this one. Once that out, well that's out, turn it over and remove the right hand screw. Now as you can see the right hand screw is actually a hollow hollow screw with a with a threaded hole in the end which the left hand one goes in. So you may want to just screw your left hand one in there so that that's the smallest bit so that you're less likely to lose it. Alright, so now the um, we'll just push the catch. Lift the, ham lift the barrel up and the front will come out of there. And then the back will get just did it by itself, but the back will come out and you can actually pull pull it out through that through that hole there. All right, so um, so there we have the pistol without barrel. You can see the seal there that I've already fitted. So I'm kind of just pretending to fit it today because I kind of did it um, before I didn't actually film it. But um, all right, so um, then what we need is our special tool. There it is. There, as I showed you before. Now, so if I was fitting the brick seal, what I would do is it actually. Well, first of all, what I would do is just put it in there. Make sure it um, look. It's definitely going to go into the hole. Uh, what I did was actually, as I mentioned before, I actually measured that hole with my uh, vernier caliper and measured the um, uh, the seal. Uh, and then it was obviously miles too big. And then I filed the seal down until it was just a touch bigger. I can't remember. I think it was 9.2 millimeters. Um, you know, so I, I filed it down until it was about nine point sort of four or five, and then I actually just filed a slight taper on the back of it, so as I presented it into this hole, uh, it wouldn't get caught. It would actually start to go in, and then finish punching it in. The leather would get squashed as it went in. So basically, all you do is pretending that we've got the seal, put it on the end there, and now that the barrel's out of the way, you can actually present it into here like that. And then using a small hammer like this, make sure it's straight, and you can just tap it in like that. Now you shouldn't have to tap it very hard at all, just little taps and it should just make its way into the hole. If you sort of give it little taps and it's just not going in, well then I would suggest, you know, use something to carefully pry it out without damaging it and just file it slightly smaller and then present it up again so that it just taps in, so it's just a slight in interference fit in the hole. To replace the barrel, uh, it's pretty simple really, just make sure that you get that little part there. It goes in there, you've got to, you've got to, got to kind of get it straight because it's has to go in there and then you've got to, it tends to want to 
there we go that's it so yeah don't let it go back again like I just did and then once it's in you can push the front in right so once you've got that in just maintain pressure backwards like that put the uh, that in until you can see the hole through there and then it's the opposite start with your right hand one put that in screw it in place wiggle this around so that's it so that it goes into the hole there we go Once that one's in, turn it over. Alright, so put it in until it's tight. Now, one thing I meant, didn't mention before is when you're tapping the brick seal in, I wouldn't tap it in really hard into its seat. Just tap it in till you think it's in about the right spot. Then put your barrel back on and then try and see if by pull, pull your latch out of the way and make sure the barrel kind of there's an interfere you can feel it touching the leather as it goes in. Now when I did mine it was actually quite tight. It got to that stage I had to kind of force it in but that's kind of it squashed the leather there so it's actually that's obviously how it's designed. If you find that you've you've um you've put the seal in and you just can't get this it's hitting the edge of the seal and it's not going down well then you just need to take your barrel off again give it a tiny little more tap just so you've got it just I can feel that just sliding against the leather face as I push that in and um, then it goes in like that. I think it's sliding against the leather face and actually it's actually catching on the front of the, the brass but then it's actually just clicking past it so that's how um, you get your seal correct. So um, so that's how you replace a, uh, a breech seal on, on a Webley Senior Pistol so uh, the Mark, I think the Mark 1 and 2 aren't they? They're similar ones, early ones. There's the Webley Junior which is like this but a bit more basic but they've all got the same seal. In fact I think the seal is interchangeable between all of those. And then I think even later on in this style of pistol um, there's, uh, it, you've basically changed the seal in the same way. So thanks very much for watching and uh, if you like my videos uh, by all means push the like button and I'll see you next time.